Okay, let's talk about a rather uncomfortable topic. For today, we're focusing on how minors are being forced into marriage. In the United States, there is no minimum age restrictions concerning marriage involving children, with exceptions in every state. If a parent or guardian of a child under 18 wanted to sign off to have their child be married, they have the permission to do so. Now, our country has age of consent laws, so I find it very peculiar that we have not established a limit to this. In the UK, they made forcing marriage a criminal offense, one that can be up to seven years in prison. The minimum age they've set it at is at 16 years, which I find to be a reasonable age to have it at. I usually advocate for 16 to 18 years of age for a lot of things, so it only makes sense. States like California and Florida have tried passing new legislation for banning forced marriage. Child marriage is obviously encompassed into that. However, it's still been met with some opposition. During the seven years, my ex-husband controlled pretty much everything. I was alone here. Between 2000 and 2010, an estimated 248,000 children in the U.S. found themselves taking on a very grown-up commitment. They got married. Last week in Florida, the state Senate took up a bill to put a stop to that. 37 yeas, zero nays, Mr. President. So by your vote, the bill passes. If the measure gets signed into law, Florida would actually become the first state in the country to flat-out ban child marriage. It's the kind of proposal that's been met with some unusual pushback in other parts of the U.S. This was me um, right before I went to see my dad. I was 15. My dad had moved to California and he wanted me to come visit him that summer. I wasn't looking forward to seeing him actually. As soon as I got off the plane, um, he kind of sat me down and said, um, you know, you're at an age where boys are becoming interested in you and um, you need to get married. <laughs> It happened very, very quick. It was within months of me arriving to the United States that an older man put his eyes on me, saying that he liked me, that he wanted to date me, that he wanted to, to marry me because he was in love with me. My family never asked me if I wanted to get married. They just went ahead and planned it. Walking into the chapel, my ex-husband was committing statutory rape. I was clearly eight months pregnant. I was a 16-year-old, and he was then 29. So that should have been an indicator to the people there to call the cops, but instead they officiated my marriage certificate. When I was 14, people heard me saying that I had to go home from school to, to do chores because I was married. A lot of people would not believe me. Last March, after hearing about a 12-year-old girl engaged to be married in his congressional district, State Senator Jerry Hill authored a bill to completely ban child marriage in California. Well, my first thought was that, well, wait, that, that can't happen here. I mean, this is California. We don't do those things. And, uh, and it, there's, there are laws against that. Uh, but then we did a little research and found that, no, it was correct. In California, there is no minimum age for marriage. We thought we would move forward with legislation in California that would limit the age of marriage to 18 or above. And I felt that this was one of those no-brainers. This is uh, one of those common sense pieces of legislation everyone would get behind. Well, as soon as we introduced the bill, then we started seeing and receiving the opposition that came in. Uh, very upset with establishing any age for marriage. While it's not as common here compared to other regions of the world, like South Asia, obviously, it's still a thing that can happen and it's still a problem. I think the fact that we don't have a recognized law that prohibits this activity in every state is odd considering, you know, we have laws implemented for age on other things such as driving, drinking, smoking, working, consent. Like, it only makes sense, right? Marriage is pretty important as much, if not more, than those other things listed, right? I mean, I personally find marriage to be a bit overrated. I'll explain why. I feel that way a little later, but what are some of the opposition's arguments to this? The first opponent to surface was the American Civil Liberties Union, which says it supports the sentiment behind ending child marriage, but insists the freedom to marry is a constitutional right, regardless of age. More surprising is opposition from Planned Parenthood, which is famous for protecting the health and well-being of women. Planned Parenthood came in and were very concerned about the legislation. They felt that if you had to be uh, a certain age to marry, then that would take away the ability of a minor to make some uh, decisions related to choice, whether it's an abortion or something else. In a statement, Planned Parenthood suggested that it too opposes child marriage 
And yet, it seemingly doesn't support codifying that opposition into law. Sources with other human rights organizations say that Senator Hill is right. Planned Parenthood could be worried that denying minors the right to marry will give its opponents the ammunition to deny minors reproductive rights as well. It's an awkward position, which may explain why Planned Parenthood refused multiple interview attempts with Vice News. I'm one of hundreds of thousands of girls. I'm just one story. How many survivors need to come forward? There needs to be protections. I mean, I, I just don't think it's that hard of an issue. So I understand this is a pretty weird and mixed situation. Usually parents who have to deal with teen pregnancy resort to marriage as a solution or as the reliable option. Abortion doesn't sound too appealing to a lot of families, generally it gets frowned upon. I find it, while not good, I'm not going to pretend like I like the idea of abortion, I still find it to be the better option than forcing childbirth or forcing marriage between teenagers, children, to other young people, to even adults. When they don't know what it is they're doing, when they aren't ready mentally or emotionally, or even physically to handle that type of arrangement. My problem is, is that marriage is a very flawed system with more cons than pros that I feel like a child or a teenager wouldn't really grasp the full magnitude of, having their entire lives reworked. Parents believe that through marriage their child will be able to have financial stability. While they may have the best intentions for their child, one, every single parent thinks they know what's best for their child, and two, they don't seem to understand by thinking they gave them a way out, they actually are now limiting their child further. Some will say they can just divorce when they get older, but divorce is a very rough process depending on certain factors, especially if kids are thrown into the mix. It makes it harder on them. Also another thing that would be said is that they should have been more responsible when it comes to sexual activity and to understand and to know the ramifications, the consequences that can come from it. While I do agree with that, I do agree to an extent because adults are just as irresponsible with things all the time, like drinking and driving. I mean, people are imperfect. Mistakes and accidents will happen. So I don't believe the ends justify the means. Now I know this is all touchy, sensitive subjects being discussed, and with that said, just to clarify, I'm not married, I've never been, nor do I plan on being married. So I'm really looking at this through an outside perspective. It just doesn't appeal to me. I've seen many marriages within my family, within my friends, usually end in divorce. Now I'm not trying to say wholeheartedly that marriages don't work, I'm not trying to tell other people who may have interest in marriage, who are in marriages that they're happy in, that they wanted to have, that they're wrong. By all means, I'm not here to berate you, I'm not here to trample on that, like with anything else, this is just my opinion, but I would hope most of us would agree, forcing anyone, especially children, to be part of this process is not alright. Again, I find it to be overrated, and the reason I think so is because our culture likes to fantasize the concept of weddings and marriages, painted up with many bright colors but not wanting to show or talk about the underbelly of it. There are many problems that occur in marriages behind closed doors that many people don't know about or won't find out about until much later. Of course there are good things about having a marriage, but there are also bad things that come along with it. Lack of personal freedom, stress, anxiety, financial troubles, abuse, whether it's verbal, mental, or physical, not only for spouses, but for their kids, I could keep going on. I don't even need to mention when talking about this, the potential rape of someone who is forced into this with somebody that they don't know, they don't like, it's simply egregious. During the seven years, my ex-husband controlled pretty much everything. The reason I did not get the custody of my child is because I was alone here. I didn't have the money to pay attorneys. The most difficult part of this long, long journey is definitely not having my daughter with me. That part. Floridians like Delma are now watching if their state will be the first in the country to ban child marriage. Unfortunately, in Florida, anything is possible. And we've had children as young as 11 be married in the state. And uh, every colleague that I have spoken to thinks that that is abhorrent, and we will seek to change that this year. Child marriage is still ever present in our state. This bill makes one simple change, it prohibits marriage license from being granted to minors under the age of 18. That is the bill, Mr. President. This is not Florida. This is not what Florida is about. We need to protect our minors. The bill now heads to the Florida House, where a final vote is expected next week. Several state representatives have recently raised objections, which could derail the bill's passage. I think it's an issue whose time has come. So I'm optimistic, but I, I don't take anything for granted and will work very hard to make sure that we can pass this bill this session and make right what is a terrible occurrence 
uh, not just in Florida, but around the country. I don't think it's right for adults to engage in this activity with much younger people. I think it can be very manipulative and very harmful towards someone who is still developing. When they're still trying to figure themselves out, arranging for them to take on such huge challenges, huge responsibilities so quickly, without them really getting a say-so, both boys and girls not being able to have the choice for this, it doesn't sit right with me. We can also see that religion can play a part in it, Islam and Christianity being two obvious ones as well as others play their roles in this. It's a series of complex issues stacked on top of one another. I do think that states need to establish a minimum age for marriage. It only makes sense to do considering how we try to operate as a society and hopefully sooner rather than later we can help prevent children from being subjugated to this and rethink the idea of forced marriage. Because I don't like the idea of forcing anybody to do something against their will that will completely flip their way of living both with marriage and pregnancy. So those are my thoughts on this situation. I want to know what you guys think about it. What's your thoughts? What's your beliefs on this? Feel free to comment below and let me know. As always, I appreciate everyone for watching. Thank you very much. As usual, I'll see you all later in my next video.